tell us where that poor girl's body is. Two people go into a container and only one person has come out. How can you look at me and tell me that you didn't kill Dora in that container? No. My interview has been tape recorded. I'm Detective Constable Mike Davidson, uh, attached to a specialist crime and um, homicide uh, department. My colleague present is. It's a homicide case and uh, homicide investigation. It came about back in 2021 when a girl we uh, referred to as Dora, she had befriended a gentleman by the name of uh, Pisans, and uh, they became friends. Um, and. Uh, for one reason or another in 2021. They met up in Collindale High Street and Cricklewood High Street rather and um, got into his car, drove back to his um, abode or where he lived which happens randomly happened to be a storage container and uh, he attacked and killed her inside his uh, storage container. He then um, dumped her body several miles away underneath a pile of logs and proceeded to um, dispose of all the evidence, like clothing and the murder weapon. That's the last time she's seen alive. Why? Richard. The interview went on for like over over three days, um, and we must have interviewed him. It feels like forever, but I think it was probably at least eight, nine, ten hours of interview over three days. Mm -hmm. I remember like you feeling exhausted That's afterwards. Really gave an account in interview, but it was an account that we were, we knew he was, was lying and it was untruthful. Maybe she's still alive. She's not alive. No, yes, The objective at the beginning of the interview is to gain an accurate and, um, you know, an accurate account mm -hmm. from, from Mr. Paisan. We know she is dead. You're lying to yourself. You keep saying over and over, she left. I took da. her to Asda. Da. Da. Do you da. Look, look at me, Nick, like, do you believe that? We just presented him with all the facts we'd got, which mm. was basically, you know, she's gone into his container, there's CCTV covering the container that shows her going in, yeah. and then you know, the CCTV officers did an absolutely fantastic job of, mm. they got every possible camera that sort of boxed in that container. Um, and people, do you remember, people were watching it around the clock, sort of 24-7, yeah. to, to confirm that in the days... That we hadn't made a mistake. Yeah, being, that she, yeah. by the time we found the container, yeah. um, she had been missing however many days. So all that CCTV had yeah. to be watched from the point she went in to the point we went there. Yeah. So they've watched around the clock um, not just one camera, every possible yeah. camera. She does not come out. Yeah. Then in addition to that, we've got, um, there was footage of him back in the car up and moving stuff in. There was bits of her blood found inside there and that building that he, he could get into mm. next to it. Blood in the back of her car. Yeah. And then CCTV footage of him driving around North London, dropping Exposing. off rubbish of places. Mm. And then the exhibits that have gone to where he's dropped stuff off and they're finding her clothing. Stuff that we've seen him dropping a skip is her clothing. Yeah. So, I mean, normally when we go into an interview, you, you've got some sort of facts and you really, really don't know what's happened. But on this occasion, no, we didn't know 100% what's happened, but, geez, all that is pretty much like, come on, you know what, she yeah. didn't come out of there, so you what? know where she is and what happened. And it was hours getting to that point, wasn't it, of laying yeah. that all down in front of him and him still going, oh no, I took her to Asda. No, yeah. she's, it's like, oh my goodness, like, yeah. just, just be fair. Everyone in that room knew that two people went into that container and only one person yeah. came out alive. But um, for eight, nine, ten hours of interviewing over two, three days, it, it carried on this lie of, I dropped her off here and everyone in that room knew it was a lie, but he wanted to proceed with it. Nikolai, we found a type of saw in a skip that we're pretty sure is going to have Dora's blood on it. And we've seen you put that in the skip. How can you look at me and tell me that you didn't kill Dora in a container? No. Nikolai, you're not 
lying to us because we know she is dead. You're lying to yourself. You keep saying over and over, she left. I took her to Asda. Just tell us what happened in that container and where Dora is now. Nu știu. 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 Nu So maybe she appears. I mean, poor girl. She was. She. Not a nice way to die. No, she. She clearly had sort of issues and things, didn't she? And it got mixed up with him. And it. Hmm. I think we found her body. It was just a few days before her twenty-first birthday, wasn't it? All of us on on our team. Ultimately, we are looking to. We want to find out what's happened, and we want to put. Hmm. We want to sort of bring justice to the, the right person. We want to get the right suspect and make sure they face justice for it. And it's the whole sort of process of doing that. Yes, we do enjoy doing it. It is really interesting. If you, I know it sounds sort of a little bit heartless to say, if you put the, the victim aside for one moment and you look at all the, the components of the investigation, I mean, the, the forensic, the science behind that is absolutely fascinating the story of what's gone on. It's, it's always interesting to piece it together and, and find it out. Um, all, all the components, there's, it is just, it's, it's good work. Mm. But ultimately, the reason that we, we do that work is because there's a family and, the, and there is a victim. And it does, I don't know whether it's okay to say it, it feels good in a way to, you know, give a little bit of justice to that family. No one is ever going to be able to bring their loved ones back. But if we can do Closure. what we do to the best of our ability um, and help in, in some way with as, as much compassion um, as possible and give them, like I say, we can never bring that person back, but if we can give them a little bit of justice, that goes a little way to help. And I think all that tied in is, is why we do it and ultimately it does sound wrong to say we enjoy investigating murder but we do otherwise we wouldn't be on that team. The position that you are in now Nikolai isn't good. A girl has gone missing and nobody, the entire expertise of the Metropolitan Police cannot find any sign that she is alive. We have found her blood in different places and all of those places and things that we have found all link directly back to you.